Popular self-sowing annual flowers. Alyssum makes a lovely, low-growing mat that is perfect for edging paths, the front of a border, or containers. Most varieties have a sweet, vanilla-like scent. Some of the recent hybrids do not come true to seed. It's hard to beat the blue color of the bachelor's button. It got the name, cornflower, because it grew as a weed in cornfields, but you may welcome it in your garden. It does spread, but it is easy to pull out any extras. There almost are enough varieties of black-eyed Susans for everyone to have a different favorite. The annual varieties bloom even more abundantly than their perennial cousins, often with larger flowers. Tall Larkspur prefers cooler climates. When starting your first patch, you may have better luck with germination if you stratify your seeds before planting. After that, winter will take care of it for you. All parts of the plant, including the seeds, are poisonous if ingested, so use care around children and pets. Love in a mist can be direct sown early in the season and then succession planted throughout spring. Its blooms don't last long, but they are gorgeous and are soon followed by their quirky seed pods. Malope is an annual mallow, and the flower resemblance to perennial varieties of mallow is strong. You can direct sow or start some seeds early to transplant after the danger of frost is past. As a bonus to their beauty, the flowers are edible. Flowers in the genus Melampodium are a relative of the sunflower although considerably shorter. They form a short mound that looks lovely placed at the front of the border or in containers. Melampodium is, is a good choice for dry areas of the garden. Not everyone is impressed with the yellow-green, spiky blooms of mignonette, but the intense honey scent may win you over. Mignonette does best in a sunny spot with rich soil. If you are starting from seed, don't cover it, mignonette needs light to germinate. Portulaca seed will travel. You can plant it in one part of your yard and find it growing all over the place later. However, the plants are small and not aggressive. Choose a sunny spot, because moss rose flowers open only when the sun shines on them. Nasturtium seeds are large and easy to handle. They are also edible, as is the rest of the plant. Indeed, the seeds make good substitutes for capers. If you can resist eating them and allow them to fall off the plant, you will have nasturtium plants popping up year after year. Hot marigolds are also edible. The flowers have a mild floral fragrance, but the leaves are quite tangy. Allow some flowers to mature and set seed and you will have volunteers in the same season and for many seasons to come. There's purple everywhere you look, with these purple hyacinth beans, the flowers, the stems, the seed pods, and the undersides of the leaves. The beans are edible when fully cooked, but many gardeners grow them just as ornamentals. Let some seeds fall and save some to plant elsewhere. Unlike perennial woodruff, Gallium odoratum, the annual Asperula orientalis has small, deep blue flowers. It is often considered a wildflower, and the volunteers will look good poking through other plants in the garden. A word of caution, rabbits love to munch on the new, tender plants. The flowers on this annual euphorbia are not much to look at, but the white bracts make it appear as if the plant is always in flower. This plant stays colorful all season, and those nondescript flowers obligingly drop their seeds so that you can enjoy the show all over again next year. Spider flower doesn't start blooming until mid-season after it has grown 3 to 4 feet tall. Then it sends out loose balls of blossoms that bloom over several weeks. You will get volunteers the following season. Do note that spider flower does cross-pollinate, so if you planted more than one color, you will get a whole new mix of colors next year. Sweet peas do not self-sow everywhere, but if you are lucky to be in an area where they do, such as zones 8 to 10, be prepared for some surprises. The plants will cross with other sweet peas, or hybrid varieties may revert to one of their parents' features. But have you ever seen an unattractive sweet pea? Tall, or Brazilian, Verbena sends up long, branching stalks of two feet or more, with tight clusters of purple flowers. Be prepared to see butterflies taking over your garden. 
The self-sown seeds are late to emerge in the spring, so hold off mulching until you see them. Ilia thrives in dry, sandy soil. The small, globe-shaped flowers look best in a large planting, so allow them to set a lot of seed at the end of the season. Gilia is a heavy nectar producer, so you will have to share the flowers with the bees. There's been a lot of breeding done on the tobacco plant, but it is the tall, fragrant Nicotiana sylvestris plants that are most likely to self-sow for you. The sprays of tubular, white flowers are most fragrant in the evening. You'll find the seed of California poppy in a lot of wildflower mixes, but you may have better luck growing it on its own. The delicate orange blossoms sit on airy, fern-like foliage. The annual candy tuft comes in more colors than the white perennial variety. These are cool weather plants that should be seeded early so that they can bloom before summer's heat. Cottage garden plant Clarkia amoena can grow two feet tall, with long stems of flowers. USDA hardiness zone 7 and above can seed them in the fall for blooms throughout winter cooler climates should seed in early spring. The annual Coreopsis, also known as Coleopsis, is even more free-flowering than the perennial varieties. If you have problems with perennial Coreopsis spreading and taking over your garden, the annual variety is a good option. And birds will eat some of the seeds the flowers produce. The variety of Cosmos flowers available grows larger every year. You can find delicate pastels and brilliant, bold reds and oranges. They are profuse bloomers and will all be frequented by bees and other pollinators. Although technically a perennial plant, blue flax is short-lived, at best. However, it readily reseeds itself and stays in bloom for weeks on end. The vivid blue flowers blend well with most other plants. Forget-me-nots are among the most enthusiastic self-sowers, so you may need to do a bit of editing in the spring. But the cheerful and abundant blue flowers are a lovely cottage garden addition. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.